Alright, so y'all have to excuse the big jacket here today because it's like 60 degrees here in South Florida and I'm not used to that. But let's talk about hashtags today because that's what we're all here for. I personally love hashtags. I think they're awesome because I can pick a topic like forestry, search that on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or whatever social media platform, and I can find a real in-depth look into that into a topic such as forestry. The hashtag that I wanted to talk about today is hashtag find your forest. It's a play on the national parks hashtag find your park, which is also geared at getting people to discover their local national forests and parks. Um, as you can see here, I just put in the hashtag to Instagram and immediately you get some awesome pictures. I mean, that just makes me want to go to my favorite national forest, which is the Nantahala in North Carolina, and go out and explore and take some pictures like this. Another reason why I chose this hashtag is because social media is laid out typically in chronological order. So you can look at a place and see it throughout all, all of the seasons and from other people's perspectives. You might have people that stay up in the mountains or they might go for hikes along rivers and you can see the entire place in different times of the year and from different perspectives, which is also a great way to just encourage people to get out and try something new. They might see a river that looks awesome and they want to go take some pictures by it or do a short hike through a section of forest. Another thing I like about this hashtag, find your forest, is the alliteration with the F and find and the F and forest. It also is only three words, so it's super easy to tag in photos, and it's also super easy to look up on social media. So as I was scrolling through this tag, I saw a girl with her dog, and I thought, oh, are dogs allowed in national forests? So I did a little quick search on that, and I found that dogs are allowed in most national forests, and they can go on just about any trail that they can safely walk on, while in national parks, they're not allowed on most trails, and they have to be kept on a leash at all times. So if I hadn't gone through and searched that tag, I might have not thought about taking my dog on an awesome hike like that. I mean, not that my dog is really up for a hike on a weekend because she's kind of lazy, but I like these hashtags. You can find out awesome places to explore, what kind of weather you can expect during certain times of the year, and just what's around you in general. So I encourage you all to find your forest, find a park, do something, and get out there. Oh, and here's my note card. <laughs>